Hello, my name is Charlie Haffey, and I am an elementary science teacher for the Norwood Public Schools. And the title of today's video is The Clinometer. The Clinometer. A clinometer is a modified protractor. So let me show you my clinometer that I'm using today. And you'll notice that it looks like a regular protractor. The baseline is right along here. The center of the baseline would be here. But you'll notice that if you go straight up, I've changed what used to be the 90, I now make the zero. Then I have 10 degrees from there, 20 degrees, 30 degrees. So when I'm using my clinometer, I want to use it like this because I'm going to hold it like this, and I have a weight hanging. Now, again, if you notice, the weight is hanging, and the string that's holding the weight is attached right to the middle of the center of the baseline, right where all those degree lines come together. Then, if I hold it like this, so the clinometer is parallel to the ground, that means the top of the clinometer is going in the same direction as the ground. If I look along this now, and the top of the clinometer is parallel to the ground, I'm looking at what we call the horizon. Now, I know there might be some trees or something in the way, but that's in a general way. A line that's parallel to the ground, as you look at it, is called the horizon. And if I look along the top of my clinometer, the string is going to come down and go through the zero degree reading. That makes some sense. If this top of the clinometer is parallel to the ground, those two lines, there is no angle between the two lines. There might be a distance, but they're going in the same direction. Okay? Then all I need to do is this, is I'm going to look at an object of interest in the sky. So say for example, I'm going to look over here to the top of a house, a tree, or to an object in the night sky, Saturn for example. All I do is I look up here, I look along the top of the clinometer. Right? And as I look along the top of the clinometer, I let the string move around freely. Once I find the object of interest that I want to identify, I'm looking up here, then I just track the string right up against the clinometer. Then what I do is I look at where the string is, and I would say that in a rough way that this would be about an angle of 25, 26, 27 degrees up. So if you found an object in the sky and you knew where it was, north, south, east, or west, and then you measured its angle up, you could figure out what it was by looking it up on a sky map. On the other hand, if you looked at a sky map and you said, oh, look, Jupiter's in the sky today, um, it's going to be at the south at about 9 o'clock tonight, and it's going to be about 33 degrees up. I'm just making that up. What you do is you wait for the right time. You find south with your compass rose. I'll give you a hint. South's the opposite from the North Star. Then what you do is you go outside and you use your clinometer and you go up until you find the measured angle that you need, 33 degrees. Then you look along here and you'll see the object pretty close to it that you're trying to identify. So a clinometer is a modified protractor. It's very important you get the string to attach right in the middle of the baseline. Also you notice that this little weight that I have here is hanging down farther than the card. I find that to be pretty helpful. That way it doesn't bang into the card. Okay. Also, when you're moving this clinometer, what you want to do is you want to hold it straight up and down. If you hold it like this, the string is going to catch on the card and it might not move very freely. Okay. Zero degrees, parallel to the ground. Straight up, perpendicular to the ground, 90 degrees. Somewhere in the middle is an object that you might like to look at tonight through your telescope. My name is Charlie Haffey. I'm an elementary science teacher for the Norwood Public Schools.